Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about acidic versus basic stains and their uses in microbiology. Uh, you can use the word stain or dye interchangeably. So acidic or basic stains, acidic or basic dyes. Either way, these stains actually are made up of dissolved salts. And we know from chemistry that salts are composed of a positive ion and a negative ion. So all of the stains that you're used to hearing about in microbiology are made up of a positive and a negative ion. In these stains, one of the ions is the colored one, the one that gives the color to the specimen. And the colored ion is known as the chromophore. The other ion, uh, the one that is uncolored, is the counter ion. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. If the chromophore, the colored one, if the chromophore is the positive ion, then the stain is classified as a basic stain. On the other hand, if the chromophore, again the chromophore being the one that gives the color, if the chromophore is the negative ion, then the stain is classified as an acidic stain. You might ask yourself, how am I supposed to remember this? Well, I had a student once that came up with a really good way and I'll share that with you now. She said that it's always a positive thing to have basics in your refrigerator, or it's always a positive, things to have, a, a positive thing to have basics in your closet. So you can think about it in one of those two ways. It's positive to have sort of the basics in your refrigerator, your milk, your eggs, your cheese, your bread, that kind of thing. And so that can help you to remember that when, it, when, the, when the chromophore is positive, that's a basic stain. On the other hand, if it's negative, it's an acidic stain. So I like that way to remember it. Now let's talk about the different ways in which these um, two different types of stains can be used. Uh, in order to understand this, you need to have a good understanding of the bacterial cell wall. Bacterial cell walls are negatively charged. It's common to classify bacteria into one of two groups. That would be gram-negative cells and gram-positive cells. They have some differences in their cell wall structures. Gram-negative cell walls have this outer membrane that has a lot of phospholipids in it, which are negatively charged. Uh, gram-positive cell walls have this uh, layer of um, peptidoglycan that's intermixed with tachoic acids. The tachoic acids are also negatively charged. So whether you're talking about gram-negative cells or gram-positive cells, they're going to have negative charges right um, at the outside of the cell structure. And so basic dyes, remember basic dyes being the ones that have this um, chromophore being positively charged, our basic or positive dyes actually stain the cells themselves. So this is when you have the positively charged chromophore being attracted because opposite charges attract. So the positively charged chromophore is attracted to the negatively charged cell wall of the bacteria. And so the basic dye is actually staining the cells themselves. Some common basic dyes that maybe you've heard of are things like carbofuxin, methylene blue, crystal violet, safranin. The first two are common in the grant, or excuse me, in the acid fast stain. The second two, crystal violet and safranin, are common in the gram stain, which are um, very common microbiology stains. Acidic dyes, on the other hand, remember the acidic dyes are the ones where the, the colored ion is negatively charged. They actually don't stain the cells because the, negative, uh, the negatively charged chromophore will be, um, will be pushed away, will, will be opposed by the negative charges in the bacterial cell. So the negative charges in the bacterial cell wall will repel this acidic dye. And so actually the acidic dyes will stain not the cells, but will stain the background. Okay. 
And so what this does is you end up having a colorful background where the bacterial cells that are present appear to be white and, uh, you know, white and, and unstained. And so that's what it looks like when you use acidic dyes. Some common acidic dyes are eosin, rose bingle, nigrosin, so you might have heard of some of those. So that is it for acidic versus basic stains. You might um, want to review the gram positive versus gram negative cell wall. If you do, please check out my video on that. I also have videos on several common microbiology stains, including uh, the gram stain, the acid fast stain, the endospore stain. So if you're interested in learning more about how these different stains are used to visualize different types of cells, then check out those videos too. And thank you for watching today at Biology Professor.